Hey guys, welcome back. So just to introduce what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make another paint palette. And this one is primarily going to be for some of my paints that are sparkly, metallic, that I have in the tubes. Um, most of what I have here is like, honestly, it's like generic <laughs> uh, metallic from Artisol, which is still not too bad. And then I have um, a couple more. They're also from Artisoft, but they're a little higher grade. And like this one is uh, pearlescent. Um, and I think I have another pearlescent one. Yeah, this one. So, and I've got one that's like a shimmer. Um, this one is Cotman, which is the generic brand of, uh, like the student grade version for um, Winsor Newton. Because you'll see at the top it says Winsor Newton. Well, I don't know if you can or not, but they're, it's like their student grade version. It is very good. It, it, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. And I was listening to a another YouTube stra streamer. Her name is Kirsty, I believe rice I hope I didn't mess that up and she was you know saying to the effect of don't stress out if people are you know showing all these high-end you know watercolors and fancy stuff if if you can if this is what you can afford don't stress over it you know sometimes I can't always afford I have some nicer paints but sometimes I don't feel like messing with them because they're expensive and I just want to play around so I use some of the, I pull out oh sorry I almost knocked something over yikes don't want to knock this over by the way I'll tell you about that in a minute um it, there's nothing wrong with this stuff um if all you can afford is like she had this Michaels and it was kind of broken actually a little cake palette and I'm like and she sprayed it with uh, a lot of water, which I would never have thought to do before digging into it. And I'm like, huh. So go check out her channel. She's really, really, really neat lady. Very, very, very kind person. I, I, I would highly recommend her channel. So with that, I'm going to be um, doing what I did the last time, pretty much. This tin was actually a... Um, for the um, the Holtz distressing type stuff, and I ended up not needing it. I'm going to be putting these into some um, of these little things, which I got at uh, Blick. I went to one of their brick and mortar stores, which are a few and far between. Um, and this is the little. This is what the little thing that it came in, and there was a little bag bag that they were in. It was like eight bucks. Not expensive, but you can also get them on Amazon in tins. Like, like I put this sticker on this one, so the sticker's not didn't come with that. But I got the empty tin, and I th these are my qu quinacridone paints. Um, so you can you know mix your paint there, and I think you put your what? No, I don't know. You can put water at one end and paint the other or you could put a little water in here maybe I don't know but they can come like that too so um but that's what I'm going to be doing um I'm probably will you know speed it up a little bit um obstacle sticks which I highly recommend you saving because they're excellent disposables things to stir with and whatnot so I highly recommend that so with that being said the other thing that I recommend. You don't necessarily have to do it, but you can because it will help the paint not dry out as quickly. And this is not the jar it came in, but it's minerals. These are mineral spirits. Um, and not the kind you, you know, like put in food. There's two different kinds. There's one for like candles and stuff, which is what this is. And then there's the kind that's made for food. Um, so this is, make sure you get the kind that's not for food. Um, I had to put it in this jar because the lid busted on the one and I'm like, you don't want to spill this stuff. It would make a massive mess. So you only need about one drop, maybe. You don't need a lot too much 
and it will cause the paint to get like oily. Um, this happened to me, I'm going to open this back up and I'll show you. Um, this one right here, uh, this uh, like gold colored one, which is my conacodone uh, nickel, uh, I believe from Mgram, but I'm not 100% positive at the moment. Um, and you can touch it and you can kind of feel that it's a little, you know, like it never, it, it doesn't fully dry out, but you see how staining that is. So be careful. Uh, see, it's still kind of on me. It's, it's just, look at that. Acridone nickel, just be very careful unless you want a yellow finger. So with that said, I'm going to just start putting this together and, uh, you know, enjoy guys. Um, hope it, hopefully it helps. Um, there are also, before I go, there are also, um, magnets that you can get, um, to put on the backs. I, these came with another one, um, but I didn't end up using it because I really didn't need it. The thing was so packed that I didn't really need it to, you know, it, to stay still. However, these ones, the glue on this side is really crappy, so I've got to actually glue them on a little better. But what you do is you, it's supposed to stick see what I mean but you're supposed to go like that and it it and it's it will keep the pan from moving around so yeah I gotta just sort of re-glue those better but that's kind of how that works so with that said take care guys uh enjoy uh hopefully you find it useful helpful I don't know ASMR maybe I don't know anyway I'm gonna probably uh, I may put some music to it we'll see but have a great one guys I love you all stay safe and uh, I'll catch you on the next one